वन क्वेश्चन विल बी पास फॉर टेन मार्क्स अंदर क्वेश्चन विल बी पास फॉर फिफ्टीन मार्क्स सो फिफ्टीन प्लस टेन ट्वेंटी फाइव वन टू मार्क्स क्वेश्चन विल कम देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ शेप इज कॉल्ड द प्रेफरेंस शेप नाउ वैल्यू शेयर मीज वैल्यू ऑफ equally shape your new value out of 60 you have to score minimum of 24 the balance you have to take make up in the internet totally what hello my dear student i am dr b s subramanyam call my name dr b s s professor in commerce and management vidyashram first grade college a temple of excellence mysuru now today in this session i am going to hand corporate accounting third semester introduction class a warm welcome to next semester what's called the new semester for the new semester is going to be start on 4th september today pre last lesson in the last session i was handling for you financial accounting this session i am going to hand corporate accounting so which gives the details corporate accounting leads to the company so we'll go with the syllabus and we'll go one by one what the corporate accounting says we'll move on to syllabus now agenda syllabus learning outcome units internal exam patterns so the syllabus contains first unit goes underwriting of shares second goes profit prior to incorporation number 3 goes valuation of intangible asset number 4 goes valuation of share number 5 goes financial statement of company so there are five units first one underwriting of share number 2 profit prior to incorporation number 3 valuation of intangible asset number 4 valuation of share number 5 financial statement of companies so we go on one by one what's the unit one says today's introduction class what say meaning of underwriting severe regulation regarding underwriting underwriting commission underwriter function advantages of underwriting types of underwriting mark and unmark application determination of liability in respect of underwriting contract when fully undertaken and partially undertaken with and without the firm undertaking problem so in examination one question will be asked for 10 marks another question will be asked for 15 marks so 15 plus 10 25 on two mass question will come so 27 mass will be covered under this chapter so while you are doing the problem i will explain what is underwriting just an in the underwriters are those person who will sell the share on shares and debenture on behalf of the company for a commission so we'll go in detail we when you are solving the problem now the second chapter goes profit prior to incorporation means profit before incorporation and after incorporation incorporation means registration before registration and after registration so it contains introduction meaning calculation of sales ratio then time this is your sales ratio time ratio weighted ratio treatment of capital and revenue expenditure ascertainment of pre incorporation and post incorporation profit by preparing a statement of profit and loss and balance sheet as per schedule number 3 of the company act 2013 so any profit earned before incorporation is called pre incorporation profit any profit earned after incorporation it is called post incorporation profit pre incorporation profit is called as capital profit post incorporation is profit is called revenue profit we'll go detail while you are solving the problem so in this chapter you got one for 10 marks one for 15 marks one for 2 marks so another 27 marks is covered here how it will be 
10 marks one question, 15 marks another question, 2 marks one theory will come. Then move on to next unit, intangible asset. Valuation of intangible asset. What is intangible asset? Goodwill, trademark, patents and trademark. Factor influencing the goodwill, circumstance of valuation of goodwill, method of valuation of goodwill, average profit method, capitalization of average profit method, super profit method, capitalization super profit method, and annuity method. Problems, brand valuation, and intellectual property rights. So here we are going to solve the problem only for 10 mass. So, one problem will be asked in section B for 10 marks. So, in the one section, they ask one problem under this method. You have to calculate what's called super profit method. Then, you have to calculate the annuity method. You have to calculate capitalization of super profit method. So, intangible assets are those assets that is called the goodwill. Goodwill is called intangible asset, which can, cannot be seen and touched. So we are going to value. While you are solving the problem, I will go very detailly. Now, unit number four, valuation of share. So meaning of here, introduction, meaning, need for valuation, factor affecting the valuation, method of valuation, intrinsic value method, yield method means profit method, earning capacity method, fair value of share, right of issue and valuation of right issue, valuation of warranties. So, there are two types of share. One is called equity share, another is called the preference share. Now, we are going to value share means value of equity share we are going to value. How to value? There are two methods. First is intrinsic value method. Second is Profit basis method. Fair value means intrinsic value plus profit value method. Both should be added divided by two. Then we'll move on to last chapter. This is financial statement of company. Statutory provision regarding the preparation of financial statement as per the schedule of Companies Act 2013 and Indian A Accounting Standard 1. Treatment of special items, tax directed source, advance payment of tax, provision for tax depreciation, interest on debenture, dividend rules regarding the payment of dividend, transfer of, transfer to reserve, preparation of statement of profit and loss account and balance. Here we are going to prepare statement of profit and loss account and balance sheet as per the Companies Act of 2013. Not regular one, as per the Company Act of 2013, we are going to prepare here. One, instead of trading and penal account, we are going to prepare a statement of profit and loss account and balance sheet as per note numbers. So we'll work out the note number, we'll put the note number one by one. So we are going to prepare statement of profit and loss account and a balance sheet. So there are five units there. We'll go detail with solving the problem. Now Totally 30 mass, unit 1 and unit 2 internal, first and second, unit 2 and unit 3, that is 3 and 4, unit 5. So there are 3 internal, which is a compulsory, final mass will be awarded as per the average of 3 internal, first internal, unit 1 and 2, then second internal, that is 3 and 4, last interval, unit 5. So first interval, first, whatever the you got the internal, unit 1 and unit 2, second one, unit 3 and unit 4, last one, unit 5. You take the, all the average of the three internals, the average marks will be entered here. 60 marks, that is a theoretical way here. First one, we ask seven question. You have to answer any five, each carrying the two marks, that is 10. Then part B. You have to answer, for, we'll ask the four question. You have to answer any two, each carrying the 10 mass. 10 into 2 is 20. Part C, we'll ask the four question. You have to answer any two, each carrying the 15 mass. 
totally 60 marks coverage. So part A, only theory. Part B, theory is also there. Problems is also there. Part C, one theory, three problems. Sometimes all the problems only come. There will be no theory at all. So totally 60 marks. If you want to pass an examination, totally 40% you have to score. Out of 40%, 24 goes to working sheet. Then the balance will go to internal. Minimum 24 is essential. Totally 40 marks is essential to pass. Out of that, out of 60, you have to score minimum of 24. The balance you have to take make up in the internal totally 40. Books for reference. Fundamentals of Corporation Accounting by J.R. Monga. Advanced Accounts Volume Number 2, M.C. Shukla and T.S. Griva. It's a very good book you got. Corporate Accounting by S.N. Maheshwari and S.K. Maheshwari. It's another good book for you. Corporate by S. But Corporate Account by J. Nand Naran. If you refer these books, that's okay for you. So, there are five units of there. We'll go in detail while solving the problem. Today is only introduction class. We have introduced only the chapters which are contained. There are five units. So, in the five units, no, the problem will come. One from profit prior to incorporation, one problem will come. Valuation of share, one problem will come. Final accounts, one problem will come. Come as per the company SAG. So, while you are solving the problem, I will explain how to do the problem. Till then, goodbye. We will meet in the next session with the problem. Till then, goodbye. Meet in the next session.